Hey everybody, I am Swords and Sandals creator and amateur musician, very amateur musician, Oliver Joyce. And today we've got something special planned. Today I'm going to show you how to play the Swords and Sandals theme song. Now over the years I've had many requests for this. People wanting to know what the tablature for it is or the piano keys and so on. I don't have any of those because it's made it up. Um, but what I can do for you is I'm going to play it on my keyboard and uh, you can play along and I'll teach you the various steps, um, verse, chorus, verse, chorus type thing. Uh, bear in mind that it's been many, many years since I learned piano and I am, as I said earlier, an absolute amateur and I'm going to make mistakes and there's going to be all sorts of wrong notes and so on. But the point is, by the end of this video, you will know how to play the Swords and Sandals theme song. And I'd love to hear your creation. So please send me any links to any um, recordings you make that sound like the Swords and Sandals song. So first up, I'm going to play you the um, piano bit. And so you can see what it actually, uh, what we're going to be learning today. So we're going to jump over to the overhead camera now and I'll get started. Alright, so you've heard the main piano melody now, and I'm going to show you how to play that yourself. It's basically broken down into a verse and chorus, and the verse is only four bars long, so it should be pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we start off, we're going to play this four times. And that's basically E flat, C, G, repeated four times. Then the next part of that is actually um, E flat, C, and then um, A flat. So I'm going to do that twice. So and the final part of that is D, B flat, F. So when you play that all together, I'll show you how it goes. So that's four times and then twice, twice. So to run that through again, E flat, C, G, four times. Then E flat, C, uh, A flat, twice. Then D, A flat, F, twice. And now we do that whole thing four times, but you can actually use it in the other hand. You actually have a sort of a um, the bass line, which is basically the bass. The basically bass line is. Repeated. So it's a C, 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 A flat, A flat, B flat, B flat. And you do that four times. And when you combine them together, you have. doing that and you um, you do that whole thing four times but on the very last one here's a little twist uh, you can do this if you want you don't have to but this leads into the um, chorus and it actually becomes from a minor key into a major key so whereas normally we'd be going we're actually going to go 
the last bit. So the very last part of that is actually B, A flat, um, no, sorry, D, B flat, A flat. You can hear the sort of the major happy sort of sound to it. And instead on the bass hand, we're actually gonna go, so playing that a bit again. Um, That's the verse. So rewatch that bit a few times until you get it right, and then that will transition into the chorus, which you're going to do in one second. Okay, so you've heard the verse, and the verse has a minor key feeling to it. It almost has a feeling of dread and anxiety to it, and that is because of not only the minor key, but I'm using a descending pattern of notes, which kind of go. And you can, you know, you know how that sounds and how that makes you feel. But when we get to the uh, chorus, it's a much more uplifting um, major key sound and in an ascending pattern. And so how that sounds, I'll play it quickly, then I'll show you how to do it. It sounds like this. Um, Ignore my left hand, I'll show you how to play the left hand a little bit higher up here, but I play it lower to make it sound a little bit more, the lower octave sound. Um, so how this um, plays is very similar to the verse in that it's made up of four parts. And the first part is G, B flat, E flat. And that's repeated four times. So. Then the second part is only played twice, and that's uh, A flat, C, E flat. And then the final part of that also repeated twice, and that is um, E flat, uh, sorry, A flat, B flat, D. So you play it all together and it sounds. Four times, remember? Two times. Then two more times. And now you put that with the, um, the bass hand is always doing this. Um, so it's a uh, E flat, a flat, B flat, a lot of flats. And these are all, they all sound like a major key when you're playing the key of E flat. So it's actually going. And if that sounds familiar, that's what the actual gladiator, 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 gladiator. If you want everyone to sing that, that's the uh, key that it's sung in. Um, and that was so long ago that I did that. But it still sounds kind of fun. I actually forgot how to play this for a while. But, so let's put that all together uh, in the chorus and go. stuffed up a little bit at the end there but uh, you get the point so when you combine the verse and the chorus together you get that uh, I'll play it very quickly that
final sounds. And finally, in a second, I'm gonna show you how the melody works and you can combine the two to create the Swords and Sandals song. All right, we come to it at last, the melody of the song. And this is the fun part of the song, the most recognizable part of the song anyway. And let me refresh your memory. I'm actually using a violin for this part because it sounds, you know, kind of cool. All right. Yeah, you remember that. Um, how that sounds is uh, four B flats. G, B flat, E flat, F, G, F. I'll play it again slowly for you. And when you combine that with the piano melody, you get quite a nice, um, quite a nice sort of piece that sort of can be played over the minor key to make it sound more wistful, or over the major part of the song to make it sound more uplifting. So I'm going to play the violin in the um, verse, and then a trumpet in the major key part of the, the, the chorus. All right, let's check it out. So yeah, I mean, that's just how it all sounds when put together. I mean, you even notice I stuffed up a little bit in there, but you can do what you want with it. You can really improvise and sort of have the... As long as you're sort of playing something along the E uh, flat scale um, in the major key, it sounds quite cool. Um, so that's it. And when you're playing the whole song together, you can even add little bits of string over the top. Um, so if I added sort of like um, that over the top, when I'm playing the piano, you'll notice I can kind of go. Um, And that sort of just adds a bit of richness to it. You can choose any instrument you want if you have a nice keyboard. You can, and remember the bass line is always sort of doing this. To drive it along. If I had enough time, I could really build up all the instruments in this, like I did in the original versions to really have quite a rich song, but for now, that's enough to show you how to play the song. All right, what do you think of that? Was that easy? Did that make sense? Do uh, you think you can do a better job? You probably can. It's a really simple, repetitive song that um, actually just sounds kind of cool because it has that classic minor key, major key buildup. But as a bonus, I wanted to play you um, a little recording that I um, did earlier, a few months earlier, and you would have heard this in uh, another video that I made called How I Did the Music for Sword and Sandals, but I'm gonna sort of do some ad-libbing over the top of it just for fun. So um, without any further ado, this is my sort of um, more upbeat techno version of the Sword and Sandals theme song. I'll get started in any second. All right, here we go. You have been warned. <laughs>
Masolo. God, what was that noise? And with that, I bid you a fond farewell and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye for now.